Hello everybody, welcome back to another video. And today's video we are back here in the GT spec series in the GT2 cars at Yas Marina. And uh, I went ahead and decided to qualify for this one. Um, I'm planning to do a two stop and I'm sure there are going to be people who want to do a hard tire to hard tire one stop. So um, we're going to start on softs, we're going to try to run away as fast as we can. And uh, then we'll do either medium soft or medium medium to end the race. But I want to try to build a gap on softs to start just to kind of, you know, set a pace and, and clear anybody who's particularly, uh, not particularly very quick. Uh, looks like Harry might even be doing the hard to hard one stop. We do have quite a few people on mediums, so... Um, we'll see how this works out. Uh, Harry is in here with us. Shout out to Harry. Uh, the tune we're using is by Anthrax9468. Design is by Clamp God. I also recognize uh, Wicked Fat here, so shout out to him too. But uh, yeah, let's go ahead and hop in here and see how we do. glad that it's a short run to turn one here. If it had been much longer, like something like Catalonia or whatever, we might have been in trouble going into turn one with those Porsches behind us. Wasn't a great chicane there, but we're doing okay. I'd like to pull away from Harry more if we can. He's really, I think, our biggest uh, threat right now. about a second and a half or so through the uh, hotel complex. Uh-oh. That is the worst I have taken that corner in the whole time I've been in this lobby and I joined very early. Did a lot of practice. Albeit they were low fuel runs, but we should be able to give four laps um, with them like just hitting minor towards the end of the fourth lap. So, if we can keep up a really good pace, which, I mean, a 158 is not a good pace, but hopefully this lap will be a little bit better. Um, if we can keep up a good pace, then we should be able to build up a pretty decent sized gap by the time we pit. Um, you know. 
we're at three seconds on two laps. Almost four seconds. Yeah, four seconds up at the end of two laps, basically. So, you know, two more laps of that, we should have a pretty... Pretty nice cushion. Much better through there that time. Yeah, nine seconds to third already, so. I know the pit lane is very long here and that the one stop is gonna be hard to beat, but that's why we're pushing here, and that's why we're going to try to do it. Would we run a 154.6 for qualifying? So a soft tire, low fuel run is about a second and a half faster. Oops, I was just bad. Just in the wrong gear. Still up on our fastest lap time, but that was not what we needed right there. Harry will take advantage of every tent that we lose on these tires. And with him being on hard tires, that is not good. We should not be losing time to him at all. Cell complex here. Just into the one fifty fours. This lap has been slower because of bad driving. With the tires still not having hit minor yet, I'm kind of debating running softs the whole way. I know a fifth lap is probably like gonna be kind of sketchy, but that's really what I'm starting to lean towards because you are so much faster per lap on softs than on hards or mediums. Let's see, we just hit minor going into this corner. And that three tenths down is just bad driving this lap. It's not the tires, you know? And with most of the track being a straight line, I think I'm gonna do that. I think I just, I'm just gonna do softs the whole way. Might be stupid, might be genius, but it's only one way to find out.
right now we're down seven tenths on our fast to slap on this lap. But I mean, if, if even if we wind up down two seconds on our fifth lap, both times that we, or I guess all three times that we wind up there, that's still time-wise gonna be faster than um, being on mediums. And since I've already committed to a two-stop, uh, we may as well, you know, just run softs the whole way, so. Yeah, they just hit severe right as we're going into the pits on the fifth lap, so I think that's perfect. I think that's what we need to do. I wish the weight, like the fuel added or took away weight in a way that affected tires. So like I wish tires would last a little bit longer as the car got lighter on fuel over the course of the race, but I do not think that is a thing. Pretty sure a lot of these guys that are going by us now are on mediums, so they are gonna have to pit uh, probably at the end of this lap, is their plan. Um, so we should get by quite a few people. Whenever Harry pits, um, I mean, I guess he is doing the one stop, so I don't know. We might not get by him by the end of the race, but it is what it is, you know. We we'll definitely see how high up we can finish, though, doing softs the whole way. just went into the pits it looks like so is it only a couple no it was quite a few Thanks, dude. Appreciate that guy backing out a little bit.
see Wicked and Harry both gonna go for the one stop. Since Wicked started at the back, we can probably uh, get by him and, you know, pull off the free stop on him, but Harry I'm worried about. tapping his brakes. I don't know why. I guess because he's planning to let me by. Or he was just saying hello. I don't know. I can't tell. pace for a new fastest lap here. That wasn't very good through there. Almost our next pit stop clear of uh, third place. Why is he not bidding? And why is he out for a 10th lap on those hard tires, bro? tell you, I think Harry is making this pretty interesting by not having pit yet, because now I don't know what he's going to do. Is he going to pit now and do softs for five laps? Because that's kind of what I'm thinking now, which means that he... Um, 
that, yeah, I mean, the one stop even on super dead tires like his have to be, um, is faster than a two stop, which is crazy. He saw me go five laps on softs, and so that's he decided at that point he was going to do a one stop of hard to soft. Here we go, the final stint. See where we come out. Hopefully, at least in like the top five. It shouldn't be until, like, right by where we're coming out. Yeah. So, we'll have these two Porsches to get by by the end, but on softs, I think we'll be able to do it. Especially considering the pace that we had on them, you know, over the course of the whole race, basically.
Yeah, oh, that guy cost us the some of the time we had made up on Harry, unfortunately. So now we're back to where we were when we pit behind him instead of uh, having made up time, you know. I mean, I still don't think it matters. We're not going to catch him, but I would have liked it to have been closer. Was close to track limits for sure. It was only by a tiny bit, but we didn't hit minor until later in this lap than we have been, so that's good. Whoa. And yet, I guess the track temperature might have something to do with it because, oh, please, no. bad. I think the track temperature has dropped and being on minor tire wear I feel like it's uh, starting to get a little bit more slidey than it used to be. moderate tire wear. Yeah, GG to Harry for 
making those hards last as long as he did and keeping that kind of pace up, you know? Ten laps on hards is a long time. softs for the last five laps or if he did mediums but either way gg So softs only is a decent strategy here. Um, you know, if it wasn't for Harry, I think that uh, I think we would have won. I think that Harry was just a little bit too good on the uh, on the hard tires there for that long. So yeah, but overall happy with the race. It went well. I I liked doing the weird strategy. You guys that have been watching for a while should know by now. I, I like doing weird strategies. Unfortunate so many people quit, but you know, that didn't really have anything to do with our positions or race. Um, so, you know, it didn't really affect anything. But anyway, guys, GG Harry, GG Wicked. Um, if you enjoyed the video, I hope you leave it a like. If you're new around here, you haven't already, I hope you'll consider subscribing to the channel. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I hope to catch y'all in the next one.